how to go out and apply that information, put it into practice when you get clients, how to actually get those clients, apply the information that you just learned and put it into their heads. What's going on everybody? It is the morning of, uh, let me see, March 27th. 28th, crap, sorry. It's March 28th, today is a Tuesday. I'm in Florida today, so I'm in Tampa. I came to visit my coach, William. I'm with him, staying with him and his family. We are working on a project. I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later today. I'll show you guys what we're doing. But first stop, we're gonna go to the PE Science headquarters. Super excited about that. Let me see. I wonder if this video will go out before, hold on one second. Okay, it won't, so I can't tell you what we're going there for yet, but I'm going to the headquarters to say hi to everybody at the office and see what's going on inside, see if there's any new projects. There is, can't tell you guys about one of them yet, but you guys will be aware of that in the next video. I'm just gonna show you guys stuff, so that's what YouTube is for, not to talk. Listen to my podcast if you wanna hear me talk more. <laughs> This hair though, I don't know if you guys have a favorite like curly hair product. I have like, this is like my natural hair. I'll put some hairspray in it and then just kind of like go like this to bunch it up a little bit. It gets, a, it, it looks good. I like it, I like it like this a lot. But if you guys have any like wavy slash curly hair products that you really like to keep that volume up aside from like hairspray, my favorite hairspray is Bellamy hairspray, obsessed with it. But if you guys have any really good curly hair products, let a girl know. My coach Will, say hi Will. Hey everybody, what's up? We are making our first stop at headquarters. Hello! How are you? Good to see you. Love this. Can I sign it since I'm here? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Also, like really cute, like nice looking ones, and Maisie's is cute, and then here's mine. Kind of a mess, but <laughs> it's cool. And then we'll put his logo. Oh, it looks so dope. This is so cool. We're testing the new flavor of PE Science Protein. You guys will know that this exists by the time this video is out. It's not available until April 5th, right? So Wednesday this flavor comes out. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you guys what the flavor is in this video, but if I do, well, I'll put this clip in if I'm allowed to, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure I can tell you that it's peanut butter cookie. This is the new flavor. Apparently it tastes like Nutter Butters. We're gonna do a taste test right now. I mixed it with eight ounces of water. Damn, this is really good. This is really good. I actually, it's like definitely my favorite. It tastes like a chocolate peanut butter, but like not chocolate. Try it. Oh, I get to try it? It's so good. It's like my favorite one so far, for sure. Oh, wow. What flavor is that? Peanut butter cookie. That's amazing. It tastes like the peanut butter cup one, but without the chocolate. Coach approved. <laughs> Next stop is the gym. wants me to do conventional sets of eight, so I'm gonna do that. I haven't done conventional with this weight yet. Conventional is not my strong suit. We have to make your strong suits, your weak, your weak exercises, your strong ones. You have to have to actually work on them. So I am guilty of it too. I'm guilty of avoiding the things that I feel like I'm not that good at, especially since I haven't been feeling super strong lately. I've just been avoiding conventional deadlifts, but we are going to get into that. I finally know why I feel like a number. They keep a secret into their
gym and will my coach I've been with him for two years now and I love coming here to train with him and just talk with him just because every single time I'm with him or getting encouragement from him, he's just such a motivating person. Like today, sometimes I kind of let Lazy win. I don't know if I'm sure you guys might know that feeling a little bit. Letting Lazy win to me just kind of means like thinking that I'm lazy and saying like, oh, I'm kind of lazy today and then I allow my workout to be lazy. I'm kind of one of those people that is lazy during my workouts more often than not, which especially in like, a, I don't know. If I don't have like a set goal, like I don't right now, like I have, I have goals, but I don't have like a set deadline and this is my first time not having a set deadline. So it's hard to not let lazy win and having that internal motivation all the time. So someone that I know that has that internal motivation like all of the time, is Emily Hayden. She's literally always the most like internally motivated person and she inspires me every single time I work out with her. Like she's just like working so damn hard all the time and my coach Will is like the is like the same exact way. Like he just doesn't know how to do anything else. Like he doesn't know how to do anything else aside from push himself to the limit. And it's very inspiring. So today I didn't let Lazy win and I killed my workout and in the back of my head, I was just like, you know what, I'm not that strong. My strength hasn't come back up since I got in the flu, but I also haven't purposely tried as hard as I could be. So it was kind of just discouraging and I was just like, eh, let me just not. <laughs> so that's just a little lesson for you guys that I'm also learning too for myself is to not let lazy win. Just don't allow that either self-limiting belief that you're lazy or self-limiting belief that you're not strong enough overcome you as to where you're not going to work as hard in the gym you're not going to work as hard in, in your job or whatever you're doing just don't let that laziness overcome you i'm going to talk to you guys in a second my camera's almost dead but i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what, what i'm doing here and what we're working on but i'm going to charge my camera really quick so hold on This is a new hat, Ignite Your Fire hat. They'll be coming out very soon along with these hoodies. It's just like a thin hoodie. I'm gonna be getting some samples with my logo put on it and some different designs. So we have some more apparel in the work, which I'm so excited about. It's just some stuff that I would wear in the gym, some stuff that is comfortable, casual, it makes you feel good. And I'm just super excited to like build the Ignite Your Fire community even more. We have the Facebook group running. People are communicating via each other in there and stuff like that. And it's just so, it's so fun. And I love having this community and I love having this brand. This is like, I haven't like deemed Ignite Your Fire my brand. I just really like the saying. Branding is hard, it's hard. Anyway, hold on one sec. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about today was what I'm doing here in Florida. So I'm here with my coach, Will. He's inside, we're at a coffee shop working right now and then we're gonna hit the gym. But what I came down here for is another project that I'm working on. Surprise, I'm doing another project. I've been doing a lot of different stuff over the last few months. My brain just kind of went like and all of these ideas came into my head and I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. I want to fill the gaps in the fitness industry. I want to change what's going on. I want to break the status quo a little bit. But one of the biggest things that I see that's kind of wrong with what's been going on lately is that people don't necessarily have a really easy way of obtaining the information that they need in order to become an online coach, in order to become somebody that helps other people with their fitness via the online world, which is what we live in nowadays. Like everybody's online, everybody wants to help people that way and be able to like work from home, work from wherever. They wanna be able to travel while they work. They wanna fulfill their passion and they want to do something that truly, truly helps people transform. But different kinds of certifications and stuff, like yes, those exist, but they're pretty, pretty, pretty catered towards being an in-person personal trainer. And they don't always necessarily encompass like training, nutrition, and client management and client assessment. Not only that, but they don't even necessarily teach you like how to go out and apply that information, put it into practice when you get clients, how to actually get those clients, and how to actually teach them and apply the information that you just learned and put it into their heads. So the other thing that you can do is you can do your own research. So that's what I did. That's how I became an online coach. That's what a lot of people do. And sometimes doing your own research, you can learn more and like 
a few hours just learning stuff online if you really find the correct resources than you can in four years of getting a bachelor degree like that's actually interestingly enough something that I've heard from many many people that have their bachelor's degrees and actually are online coaching and they're like I learned so much more through just my own personal research and my own personal experiences with clients nothing replaces experience of course but like I said there's just not that thing out there that is like an all-encompassing program to teach people how to become an online coach, how to learn the knowledge they need to know, and how to apply it to their clients. So that's what I'm here doing with Will uh, this week. So I had an idea a few months back, and I was like, why don't we create something like that? <laughs> uh, duh. So um, what we're doing is we're sitting here creating an outline, we're writing content, we're filming content, we're doing a lot of different things that are going to help us build this online course. Talk to you guys about this in a few videos, but essentially the online course is gonna be for someone that wants to do that. They want to be someone that helps other people with their fitness via online. They, they're aspiring fitness professionals and they want something comprehensive. They want something that they can take and apply in the real world or in their career like immediately afterwards. So I am so excited to announce that we're creating this. Um, the launch date isn't set in stone yet. It's probably gonna be right around May, June, but we want it to be perfect and we want to have a few people go through it to make sure that we didn't miss anything to make sure that it's good to go stuff like that so I'm just so excited to create this because it's going to be so amazing I showed you guys a little bit um, overlaying some footage here of what's going on with this online course in terms of the content that is going to be involved in it and I will have like a landing page on my website really soon explaining all the details for you guys so if you guys are interested like the video comment below show me that you're excited about it i know that a lot of people have taken their nasm certifications or ace certifications all of those things a lot of you guys have like already taken those or have thought about taking those but if you haven't done that yet or you want something else that's like truly truly comprehensive for you to help other people in terms of like truly creating something that a client is going to transform from how to be more than just a number adjuster for people that's something that like we're so passionate about and so steadfast about that this is gonna be for you. So, I'm gonna go back inside and get back to work. I'm just excited, guys. So hype. <laughs> There's Will, he's in there. We're gonna get to work. You would think we're going to a party. Just told you guys I was going to the gym. This is clearly not the gym. We were going to train, but Will and I, <laughs> He's filming vlog, a vlog. Vlog versus in a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> a vlog in the vlog. So vlog vlog. I was going to. Uh, we were going to train. We we're meeting up with George, my friend here. Inside. Hey. Oh, inside. There's like 50 cameras here. This is George. So hey, this, this is George. Um, if you don't know George, you should. I'm gonna insert some of his Instagram pictures right here. grown his Instagram from like 20,000 to 200 plus thousand in like a month and a half. I talked to him on the phone a week ago and he grew 100,000 followers since then. Not that the followers were what matters, but like the information that he puts out there is just so helpful and he's just such a good dude. He lives here in Florida, he came to train with us and then we just started talking and I know that that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm a fitness channel, so I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't just mess up your training sessions because you wanna to talk to people, but we haven't been able to like just sit and hang out and have a conversation and make relationships, and relationships are important to you guys, so priority today was talking with George, not training. We can get training in at the end of the week. Anyway, we're gonna have some lunch now, <laughs> eating instead of training. You guys saw a, a training session in this video. It's all about recovery that we didn't train. This is such a colorful, uh, menu here. Like, okay, I've established what I have to look forward to when I get a dog. <laughs> oh, hello, guys. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, hello, buddies. I'm trying to work, but So, William just told me he carb cycled his dogs. One of them apparently had to lose some weight. <laughs> Funny story. The dog had to lose some weight. So we would start off the dog with a few more like scoops of food and then he would have like lower scoop of food days and higher scoop of food days and he would have them doing like hit cardio outside. <laughs> Very funny. He can coach humans and animals if you guys are interested. Anyways, this video is going to go ahead and end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. I'll be back in LA for a little while longer and then going on my next adventure. So, catch you guys home.